Okay guys, it is time to go for File Explorer and explore the File Explorer. As you watch this very beautiful and nice background of this uh, oh, nice scenery, I love this scenery, I wish I could live in this place. But it is not possible for now, but let me go to File Explorer. So how can I open a File Explorer? I can go to this taskbar, as you can see if there is an icon here. I can right click on this, uh, this, this Windows logo and here is the file explorer I can click on this file explorer uh, on this windows logo and just type file as you can see file explorer is here or I can just go and again click on this logo go to all apps go down and find windows system and under windows system here is the file explorer doesn't matter which way you are going to open, which way you open this file explorer, it always opens your window. And it is a very nice window to work in. You know, actually, most of the time you refer to this window and you should be comfortable with this. So, how can I be comfortable with this? Let me uh, show you different parts and different panes of this Windows Explorer. Now, I'm going to highlight them first of all. For this, I'm going to go and select highlight. Let me go to select a uh, yellow color, and here, no, it should be blue, I guess. Here is the part that is called mini toolbar. As you can see, it is two, you know, two, two. Let me decrease the transparency, or how can I decrease the transparency here? I guess this is the way. Yes. This is my mini toolbar. As you can see, I have some icons in this mini toolbar, such as home icon, properties, or, you know, a new folder. And if I want to have more of these icons, I can click on this little arrow here. As you can see, I have some more commands, such as undo. And I like to have undo here. This is a very nice feature. I can have redo, I can have delete, I can have rename. And of course I can reach to most of these using the context menu by right clicking and uh, on a specific file or folder or a bunch of files and folders. I'm going to show you how you can select different items at once. And you know, uh, most of these commands appear in this right click context. So if I want to have this under ribbon, I can just go and click show below the ribbon or I can of course minimize the ribbon and I'm going to talk about this minimization here. So this is my ribbon. Let me show you. This part that I am highlighting is called ribbon. As you can see, under this ribbon I have different grouping of uh, items. For example, this one is one group. It is too thick. This one is another group. This one is another group. And all of these commands are categorized on these groups. And these groups are called panels. So you have panels in each tab of a ribbon. And of course, the ribbon has multiple tabs, as you can see. So ribbon is very easy to work. As you can see, the ribbon is a uh, you know, big area. So if my monitor is a small uh, or it has a low resolution I prefer to collapse this ribbon how can I do this I can just go to this little arrowhead here and find the minimum ribbon or I can go and click on this little arrowhead that shows me the minimize the ribbon tooltip and this way the ribbon is going to be collapsed and other panes can be bigger now, if I want to select a command from ribbon, I just need to go and select the tab by clicking on this. It opens like a drawer. I can click on the command that I need to, and it is going to collapse again. That's it. Mm, let me expand the ribbon. It is okay to be, you know, expanded here. So I have other places here, such as this. I have back and forward commands. I have this one. It is back from Windows 7. I love it. Uh, it shows me I can go up one level in my folders. I have my address bar. I have my search command. And I have 
navigation pain. This pain is called navigation pain. This pain is home pain or the main pain. And as you can see, I have my detail panes selected. And I'm going to show you how you can enable or disable the details or preview pane. These are very nice features in Windows. And I forgot to mention that there is another area here that is called the status bar. And this is a status bar. As you can see, I have highlighted this part of my file explorer. But what is the use of these different panes? I'm going to show you. First of all, let's go to the left pane, that is my navigation pane. As you can see, under navigation pane, I have different areas. Let me expand this and maximize this. This way I can see all of my items. I have a grouping under favorites. I can see favorites because I have selected to see the favorites in folder options. I'm showing you how you can do this. I have this PC and under this PC I have some very, uh, you know, common places that I need to go such as desktop, documents, downloads. And I have a list of my different uh, hard drives. As you can see, I have only one drive, one partition that is called local disk C. As you can see, I have a window, a, a DVD in my DVD ROM. The DVD ROM is called drive D here. And I have my libraries here. You may not see libraries. That's because it is disabled on your computer. I'm going to show you how you can see these. CDs. As you can see, I have a home group and network item under these, and I'm going to talk about these later when I'm talking about network. But how can I customize this part? If I go to View tab, in the right side, I have an option command. If I click on option, the folder option opens. So under folder options, I have show favorites, and this is why I see favorites here. Now I have show libraries checked, and this is because uh, this is why I can see libraries folders here. If I want to disable this, I can just go and remove this. For example, I'm not going to see libraries, so I remove this check and click on apply. As you can see, libraries are going to is going to disappear. That's it. Uh, but I prefer to have this. I prefer to see libraries, so I check this again and click on apply and libraries is going to come back. As you can see, if I hover my mouse over one of these items, I can see this little triangle that shows me this has sub items, such as, for example, if I open documents, I can see that I have different items under documents. For example, I have an electrical fixtures items under this. I can open this and I can see another folder. If I click on that, I can see the content of this folder. Whichever folder I click on that, I can see the content of that folder on the right side. As you can see, it is very easy to select, open, or close these little triangles. I prefer to go to the place that I want by just opening this. For example, if I want to go to documents, I open drive C and go to the Docs folder that I have created here, or go to Photos folder that I have created here. These are different ways to navigate through different folders in your computer. So let me close this. And on View tab, you can see that Detail pane is selected. Let me deselect it by just clicking on that. As you can see that the, the major pane is like this. It is bigger. Let me click on Drive C Folder 1, and as you can see, I have two different items in the main window. Now, the main window can contain a lot of items, such as, for example, let me go to, to a folder that has a lot of items, such as this Share folder. It contains a folder and different items, and you can see that these items contain text files, images, and different folders. I can customize this pane and see different ways of watching these, you know, files and folders. For example, on the right side, uh, on, on, on the View tab, if I go to View tab, I have this part, 
that tells me I can see these items by using extra large icons. I can use them um, small icons. I can see them like tiles. I can have large icons. This is the default. I can have a list of items. I can see the contents of this file plus a lot of properties in front of each item. I can have medium icons and I can have details. Uh, my preference is details because when I click on details I can see the file name, I can see the date that is created, the type of file, the size of file, and of course I can add a lot of headers to see different properties of file. But this is up to your choice which way you want to see these items. So let me show you if I have details pane enabled, how can how, how can I just add some you know headers to these different categories. You can just go on one of these parts, right click, and as you can see, different headers can be selected from this part. Just take it, click on that. And if you, the, for example, date created, as you can see, date created is added to this. If I want to remove it, I can just go and right click on this and remove the check. If I want to add other columns that are not available in this list, I can just go and click on more. If I click on, new, on more, you can see a long list of column headers. For example, I want to see one of these. Let me select. Uh, I prefer to have the, the, the content type, for example. If I want to see the content type, just click on that and click on OK, as you can see the content type uh, shows on the right side under this column. If I want to reorder these items, I can just grab this header by left clicking and holding the click. And as you can see, it can go to the left, it can go to the right, and go to the place that I need to place it. For example, here I release the mouse button. As you can see, content type goes to left two times. So this is my favorite part. I can click on these headers once and this way you can sort based on this criteria. For example, if I want to sort these items based on date, I can just click on date. As you can see, a very little triangle appears here that is looking downward. This means is th these dates are ordered ascending. If I want to order based on you know descending values, I can just click on this again and you can see the little triangle uh, now looks upward and I have you know them sorted out based on date descending. If I want to sort based on name, I can go to do that. If I want to go and sort based on type, I can just do that. And by t clicking on this again, can see the, the order of sort is going to change between ascending and descending. So how can I filter different items here? As you can see, if I go to these headers, I have a little triangle, the black triangle that open, that appears here on right of this header. If I click on this little triangle, you can see that based on the item that appears here, I can, you know, filter them out. For example, I don't want to see 0 to 9. I don't want to see I to P or I want to see I to P. I want to see others. If I just click on this and remove 0 to 9, you can see all of them. And if I want to remove this, I can, uh, you know, remove the filter by removing all the checks here. If I want to go to date, you can see this is going to be a little different. Click on this little triangle. Now you can select different dates that you want to. I can have a date range by clicking on the first date and clicking on the last date. And while clicking on the last date, you need to press shift button. Or I can go and select a long time ago and this means these are too old, more than two years old, perhaps. I just click on here and remove this check. And I can have earlier this year. By this, you can just select the items that are added here in this year. So 
These are the ways that you filter based on date. If I want to filter based on type, I can do this. If I want to filter based on content type, I can do this. If I want to select based on size, I can do this. And whatever you have here, it has a way to filter your items and find the times and find the, the, the things that you want to. And of course there is a very nice thing here that is called search. And in search box, you can just click and type whatever you want, and the content is going to be filtered based on what you type here. For example, I'm looking for a file that has new inside its name. As you can see by typing new, the only file that uh, you know shows up is a new text document. I remove the items here. If I want to have all files that have number three in their name, I just type 3. As you can see, 31 and 003 both have 3 in their names. So I can search based on this. And of course, I can have an advanced search, and I'm going to show you advanced search in later sections. So this is the major pain of this file explorer. Let me wrap it up in this place, and I want to talk about file explorer more in next section.